Hello everyone, my name is Nomis and welcome back to another episode of Project Zomboid, picking up here shortly after our last episode. Today, in episode 95, we have officially reached one year survived. For one year, seven hours, it is January 3rd, first few days of the new year. Another season where we have survived a whole year. Uh, a little bit uh, sooner than our last uh, time we made it to a, a year. Last time it took us 100 episodes, this time five less. We're going to be continuing our push through West Side today. Or I keep calling it West Side, West Point. And if we can get down to downtown, that'd be cool. Just to take a look and see how many zombies there actually are. Go ahead and close that window. It's early in the morning, 7:10. Minus 6 degrees, so not too cold. Uh, we're actually overheating as we speak. Let's go check out this car over in this lot. Uh, we do know there are some performance brakes and suspension to grab from those two heavy duty vehicles. Got some more special uh, 38 special rounds there. We've cleared out a lot of zombies in this end of town, but there are many, many more. Just a mere blocks away. It's probably all locked up. Yeah. Take a look under the hood, see if there's anything worth scavenging from this one later. Oh yeah. Performance brakes. Regular suspension. Uh, we could definitely take the performance brakes for our uh, current vehicle. Maybe let's mark this on the map too. So, we've got the heavy-duty truck parts there. And we've got some other parts here. Well, let's just use the exclamation point for car parts. So I don't have to type it out every time. Okay, so the uh, road to Main Street is actually one block south of here. I don't know if I want to run through the backyard, so maybe we'll go down this street until the next block, if possible. And attract some attention, obviously. As long as we keep moving, though, we'll be faster than everyone else. Now I just had a uh, crash. Um, there was a recent patch. Uh, we may be playing on a bit of an unstable build right now. You know what? We're just gonna run. Hopefully we don't get um, more crashes today. So I don't think it's this road. I think it's one more down. Let's get past this next group. So the patch that came out, I don't know, is this, um, what build is this? Yeah, it is 4138, okay, so uh, some of the new additions, uh, they've got like fanny packs now, they got briefcases, uh, they've got, was it sandals? There's a few new clothing and container items. Uh, they've also got uh, blood splatter on cars now, but uh, as with any, any and every new update, there is the chance of... Um, some performance issues, some bugs. And we've already had one crash, so... We shall see. Oh, we've got a, um, a ranger vehicle up there. With an apparent ranger with a knife in the back. Okay, you know what, for this... Okay, we still have our axe. I was gonna say, let's get out of the katana. We still have the axe, though. Uh, we're just passing the elementary school, so we are almost downtown. We got a zombie eating a corpse. We're gonna weave our way through town here. That was an interesting choice there, Gerald. Oh, we got a hunting knife here. Oh, another axe. Okay, that's gonna be worth it. Let's 
quickly grab that. Actually, the knife's in good shape too. Axe is in good shape. Pick that up. Uh, I might even put these straight into the backpack. In case we do want to switch out to our two-handed axe. And you can see the playground there. I don't think there's anything for us to really go for in the elementary school. Uh, police station will be up next, though, I believe. Is it the police station or is it the uh, general food store? Oh no, we got a lot there. I was hoping that might be empty. So we got that group. Might be another group over here. Uh, up there, okay. Just get around this field. All right, group there. Looks like a possible survivor vehicle in the parking lot. Okay, yeah, so park and then it's the uh, general store down here. Gas station across the street. We made it downtown. Wasn't sure we'd be able to. Ooh, burnt out building. Is that the restaurant? Okay, I think I'm actually gonna go to our axe. Let's throw this stuff in our backpack. Ooh, it's full, okay. Uh, let's put this down then. Get out our axe. Ah, the old pancake flip. God damn it. All right, bag is in the back parking lot. Let's not forget that. Main reason I'm going to the axe right now is because we do have that backup we found. And I would like to get into this store because there's usually a lot of good um, food and uh, kind of odds and ends. Always find it being a good store to loot. So let's try and clear out this group. It's 8.40 a.m., so still lots of time in the day. Hardware store would be another good place to check out, along with uh, either the Medi Clinic or Dentist Office. Oh, yeah, here comes a bunch of them. Uh, we got a little bit of room back here to work there. To maneuver around. What is our axe skill at right now? Oh, we're actually getting close to level 6. Cool. Anything worth picking up? Painkillers. Riverside map. Walkie-talkie. Uh, just pull that out. We'll dismantle that later. Oh, and there could be the possibility of some new loot in here, since we have the the new patch. Maybe we can find a fanny pack. And I wonder if that would replace the belt. I think we'd want to keep the belt, but... Oh, they also, the other thing, I was just thinking of uh, all these new changes that are coming to mind now. Uh, there should be more variety in houses as far as like clutter on like countertops and bookshelves. A bit more variety to the furniture too, I believe. I think they have like a, um, like a lace uh, covering for uh, those chairs, uh, living room chairs. Oh no, that was an office. I thought it was um, a restaurant. Nice. Okay, a little bit hungry. Let's go ahead and eat some of our food that we have on us. 
This is still fresh, right? Yeah. Alright, let's eat half of that. I mean, there's only... I don't know. I don't think we've dug into this yet. Yeah, that was the first half. Oh, beta blockers. Empty gas can. I will pick that up. Garbage bag with a lighter inside. Let's take the lighter out. Can I fit anything in there? No. Completely full. Oh, two garbage bags. Wow. And it's open. I think I hear thumping still. Okay, let's check out what we got here. We got the key. There's some more clothing racks, which we uh, will probably want to take back to the base. Um, box of jars. Okay, let's just take a quick look through first, and then we'll come back with a bag and fill stuff up. Meat cleaver, can of beans, some weapons. A lot of canned food. There, yeah, it's a few electronics to dismantle. Lots of food. No, um, no fanny packs or anything like that. Lots of food though. Peanut butter, oats, some more flour. Upstairs there are some crates as well. Some milk. Okay. Good. Good. Uh, some thread and wire, okay. Let's head upstairs. 10.30. Do you want to keep an eye on the time? So I want to get back before it gets too late. Don't really want to be stuck. Downtown especially. Alright, more food, cooking supplies, cooking food. Oh, two boxes of jars. Nice. Okay. Let's go grab our bag. We'll fill it up. Drop it back out in the parking lot. And we can continue searching. Let's put that secondary. We'll get our wrench out maybe. Alright, so I do want to grab this juice and milk. And we'll start grabbing all the food. Might as well dismantle these walkie talkies and CD players. Grab that. Dismantle that. Knives, I don't think I'll bother picking up. So once our fresh food runs out, we'll now have enough canned food to last us a while longer so we can stay in town. I wonder if I should pick up a frying pan. Yeah, with this much not perishables. We probably don't have to worry about cooking for a little while. And there's another crash. And we're back. Uh, zombies have respawned. Time has flipped back to uh, early in the morning. Oh, our old familiar bug. I still got all the loot that we picked up. So let's just put this away. We'll drop our bag on the ground. They're gonna be through that door in a second. All right, let's drop the bag Maybe over here, get our axe out. Yeah, so I apologize. But, um, you know, it seems to happen when we, not every time we have a new patch, but occasionally. And yeah, look at that, we get more garbage bags, though. 
So yeah, pretty much everything has res respawned, reset on this map. Or this chunk of the map. I'm surprised I'm not through that door already. I don't think this car was even here. I think all this stuff is reset. Was that car there before? I don't think so. Our character, though, uh, has still been up for as long as he has been up. You can see we now need to smoke. So he's been up for several hours already. Although the time has slipped back to 7.10. And look at this. This building isn't burned down anymore. So this entire chunk just reset and randomized. Well, let's take a look at this car then. Change of plan. Performance brakes, so more performance brakes and performance suspension. Let's go ahead and indicate that on our map. Yeah, all of our inventory has stayed the same, so you can see our food half eaten. Just everything around us has reset. Okay, so we are down. Where are we right now? Right here. So let's add a symbol there for another car with parts to grab. And we have a performance tire here as well. Another blown out tire that someone was trying to replace. There's the police station. Okay, but we got some food from this. We could go check out the police station. Yeah, all our stuff is still in there. Or we could try and get back in here and grab more stuff. I might try and grab some more stuff. I think that's upstairs, that knocking. So we're going to be a lot more tired a lot sooner in the day. Handbag. Some perfume. I wonder if those uh, boxes of jars are still here, though. Or if they've respawned in. Yeah, there's a box of jars. Yeah, okay. So they are still here. Yeah, we already did that. Let's go do something else. Something new. Let's head to the police station. Uh, definitely looking like a survivor car there. We got a key on the ground. The animation for jumping over fences doesn't seem to be there anymore. Or sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. It's weird. Alright, so we got a three-quarter tank full of gas. Uh, this vehicle, definitely a survivor vehicle. It's going to be in good shape. Yeah, really good shape. Very, very good shape. 56 or uh, 55 for engine loudness, performance tires, performance brakes, regular suspension. That one's got a few dings in it. So we could take that, drive out of here. Even uh, put some loot in there. Oh, he <laughs> just saw those cops spawn in. Okay, so if we're going to get take on some police officers, hopefully get some jackets, we can switch out to our wrench. Uh, but what's the condition on this? I think it's pretty low. Yeah, it's quite low. Maybe we should try and switch that out. Do I have another wrench in here? No, but I do have a nightstick. So let's swap that out. 
beat them at their own game. I put that away. All right, let's do this. Take a bit of a wide berth around there so they don't see us through the windows. Very quiet over here. I'll take it. Uh, beta blocker. Let's have a little bit of food too. Okay, let's do this. All right, both doors are open, that's nice. No sign of alarm, even nicer. Uh, I don't know if there's gonna be any good clothes. Might get lucky. No, uh, it's torn up, but we do have the uh, key. Worn out. There's a weapons room back there. Ooh. We got a few. Oh, what is that guy wearing? Is he wearing something cool? No, never mind. I thought I saw like a face mask of some sort. Alright, they'll be through that door in a second. Yeah, for some reason that looked like a my mind saw like a riot mask. Got face shield. Stay back. Shirt. Worn jacket. Okay. Nothing. Denim shirt, not a hundred percent. Wait for them to break through that. Let me just take a quick look outside, make sure no one's coming down the street. Looks like we're safe. All right, come on. There's a few of you knocking on that. You should be able to get through there. Don't want to open it and get dragged in. Uh, same shirt. Another key. Lots of keys to the station here. Clear out the zombies so we're not gonna get snuck up on when we're going to the uh, armory. So I'm gonna lock the cop in the cell. That's cool. Alright, still hearing some thumping. Alright. Alright, I see we're already a bit drowsy. Okay, that's clear. Shows that it's only 10.40, but really, we're mid-afternoon, given those crashes. Are they back here? Comic book. No. Where's that thumping? Must be in the, uh, yeah, in this room. Just one. Alright, what do we got in here? Two, two, three rounds. Another nightstick. Magnum bullets. 
Premium radio. Okay, so nightstick and some few boxes of bullets. I'll we'll have to grab our bag to grab that stuff. God damn, another crash. Oh boy, okay. <laughs> another crash, and look at this time. We've spawned in a police vehicle. <laughs> Which looks like it's in good condition. Oh, look, another police vehicle. Oh my god, this game. This game and these crashes. Well, these police vehicles definitely look like uh, they're in tip-top condition. Alrighty then. We're gonna hotwire one. And we shan't be playing for very much longer. Because... It is a bit annoying going through all these crashes, having everything reset. You survive a year and then this is what happens. You break the game. Come on, I'll just hotwire this. Okay, cool. I do have, I don't know if I actually want to take this though. Maybe we'll use it for a burn in town. It's gonna be quite loud, I think. Like, what is the um, engine loudness on this? We're trying to stick with, yeah, that's... Oh, no, actually, it's 54 for engine loudness. That's quieter than this car was. Maybe it's not that bad of a car. Should we... Should we take it? We do have a gas can. This did have fuel in it. What's the trunk like? Can't really tell. I don't know I can. 80. I don't know. Is it worth it? There's only two seats. Yeah, I don't know if it's worth it. I think this car is still a better choice. Uh, we're going to siphon some gas from this, though. So if I do want to use this as a burn vehicle, uh, we are going to have to move at the very least. Okay, that's good enough. Let's put some fuel in here. That'll be ready to go. If we so choose to use it down the road. Hey, let's go check out this police station that we definitely have not seen three times before. Um, let's put the rest of this fuel back in this car because I don't want to be carrying around extra weight if I don't need to be. Uh, no, actually I did put it all in. Okay, never mind. I just didn't, I just a fool. Uh, put that away. All right, weapon. Great, our nightstick is almost broken. Fantastic. Everything is back to normal, like we never even went in here. And this time it's empty. The longest day for Gerald. Just can't get past noon. I need to get some water. Uh, you know what? Let's just get our axe out. Put down our bag. Enough messing around here. Oh, but I guess I'm, yeah, definitely not going to get any clothes this way. Whatever. We're probably going to get a crash regardless. Just want some water. Don't jump on me from behind. I wonder if I still have the key. I do. Okay. Oh god. I don't know where I am. 
Hunting knife, magnum bullets. We're gonna grab them this time. Auto mag, 911 pistol. I'm not gonna worry about that. Unfortunately, no baton this time around. Okay. Now, what are you gonna do? We gained a vehicle, we lost a baton. I suppose it's a fair trade off. Alright, police station. Done for now until the next crash. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I wonder if we should just take this car back up. What do you think? What do you think? Might as well hotwire this. Okay, that's hotwired. Uh, there's probably no gas in here, is there? No. Empty. Lots of garbage bags downtown. All right, let's see here. There's the bank. Hardware store should be up here. Is it uh, one more block down? There's a the furniture store. Let's go to Main Street. Mendy's Eatery. Yeah, it's on this block. Hardware store and then home. Got a delivery van and it looks like another survivor vehicle. Uh, the longer we survive, I guess it's because we're going more places too, but we seem to be running across more and more survivor vehicles. All right, that's the store we want to get into. Okay. Have a quick rest while they're breaking out. Oh, we don't have very much ginseng left. Where's our vitamins? Oh, we gotta get up here. I should switch out to the axe again. We're so tired though. Oh, there's three here now. Four. Uh, it's probably close to midnight in reality for him. So tired. This one can't get up because we're standing on top of him. Okay, got them both. Well, we might be able to pull this off. Use your conditioning as a fitness instructor, Gerald. Power through it. Don't give up. That's nope. Is that our window? Oh, that was the post office. All right, let's pull this one out. Let me loot this building and get home. Huh. Get the hammer. 
<laughs> we got the uh, breaking noise, uh, but the uh, sprite didn't disappear for a second. I confused. All right, come on. Hope this back door is still locked. Okay, so I do want welding rods. Fishing tackle. Twine. I want axes. Duct tape I want too. Hand axe. Rope. Wow, I can hear a lot of a lot of zombies. Come on, propane torch, yeah. Thread, nails. Uh, we have to take the money. That's a rule. Ah, did not mean to grab that stuff. Meant to grab the duct tape. Oh, that door is open. All right, let's be quiet. Fishing trap, pipe wrench, yup. Fishing line. No axes? Really? You're gonna do me like that? It just did me like that. Oh god. Oh, zombie. Okay. Time to go. Time to go. Yeah, the duct tape was good, I guess. Fishing supplies. Unfortunately, no axes. What a crime. All right, let's get home. I'm gonna take that car. I'm gonna drive it. Should I drive it? Hmm, that's gonna attract more zombie attention. Maybe we should run back. Maybe we shouldn't mess up downtown. It's fairly calm down here. Let's not mess up a good thing. We're gonna hoof it. Hoof it back. You can't repair these, can you? No. Drop it. Eat it. Taste it. Love it. Sneak it. Let's keep going. Hopefully we get home before the next crash. And then hopefully either my computer learns to live with the new update or they have a hot fix come out soon. Oh, what well, we should grab from here before we leave, though, are some of those jars. What? Another bag? What? Well, let us pick this up. It might recognize it's a dupe and get rid of it. Yeah. Yeah, it knows it's a duplicate item, so won't let us take it again. Which is good. There's been enough shenanigans today. Ah. Ah. I want my jars. I may not be able to get them though. Ah! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Time to go. Time to go. Attached to our belt. The jars will have to wait. Alright, it's a race against the clock until the next crash. Must make it home. Before we... Oh, we finally made it past noon. But if we don't make it back, we will inevitably be surrounded by zombies. Early, early in the morning. And he'll be super tired. Saw a police or a uh, fireman there, yeah. Potentially get some more firefighter gear. I won't say no to that. So aside from all the glitchery going on in this episode, hopefully you enjoyed. Uh, we didn't really get to see any of the new stuff yet from this patch, but we will very soon we will sacrifice a car 
in town here to check out the new blood accumulation on the vehicles. Uh, just keep dashing here. Eventually we will find a fanny pack, briefcase, and what other new items they have added in. We will find all that. We will add to our growing collection of wardrobe attire back home. And we'll get to see some of the clutter inside of these homes. The clutter that they've added to make things a little bit more lived in. Keep adding bits and pieces to the realism of this game. Over time. Far cry from the state of the game we first started playing years and years ago. Alright, we must be getting close here. Yeah, we're into the smaller houses. It is only minus 1.5 out. Oh yeah, this is our block up here. So it's a warm start to the new year. Again, we have survived for one year, one day now. So it's okay, so it's January 3rd. This this clock is still keeping the correct time. Cause we were one year seven hours in when we uh, started this episode at you know, 6.30 or whatever in the morning. It's only been seven hours, quote unquote. But it is actually counting the full full time here. That's interesting. Gerald experiences... Oh, damn it. No! No! I think I just ripped my pants. Son of a... Long John's in good condition. Overalls in good condition. Oh, maybe I didn't. Ooh, did I, I think I lucked out. Yeah, I did. I lucked out. Somehow I'm, I'm scratched and bleeding, but my clothing is okay. Uh, I don't think you can repair these. Oh, no, you can't repair a hammer. Okay. Let's get upstairs and we'll bandage up. All right. First aid that. Uh, do, do, do. And we'll disinfect it. Eh. Why not? Oh, we had a sterilized bandage anyway. A little bit more skill point, or a little bit more skill into our first aid. He's gonna make it to level three first aid. That might be the highest I've ever gone in first aid. So yeah, that does it today. Let's get off here and out of here before the game crashes again. Thanks a lot for tuning in. Uh, hopefully you're enjoying your weekend. Stay tuned for more Zomboid. And until next time, I'll talk to you all later.